Hey everyone, Karan here from TechRevs. Now, thank you for coming to my channel. And I'm very sure that you must be having real issues with your computer temperatures rising real fast. Now, thanks to some of my avid viewers uh, like you guys, they helped me out in understanding what the benefit of an undervolting is. So I just did that and the benefits were really amazing. So we are going to have a four part series of this uh, in the same video. We'll start off with the games that undervolted, what benefits did I get? So there'll be four games in total. I'll just be showing you a few clips from that and what the highest peak temperatures that I got. After that, I'm going to show you the tools that I'm using and how I'm going to undervolt using those tools. And finally, how you can download those tools. So let's just get into it. We are starting off with Far Cry 5 and we are going to show you the maximum temperatures that were reached at ultra settings. miss it once this road trip's over with. <sighs> There's no reason you can't pay them a visit anytime you please. I'm sure Cindy will be glad to look after your car. Oh, right. So, that's what this is about. If you need, I could always lend you the regalia. Whoa! <laughs> uh, thanks for the offer. Alright guys, so we are going to start off by undervolting the CPU using the Intel Extreme Tuning Utility. Upon doing so, we would go to the Advanced Tuning which is the first section. Over there you would see Core Voltage Offset. Right now it's showing, uh, it would be showing as minus uh, 0 0.150 volts. Now uh, that is something that I did manually, you would be getting a, a 0, 0.000 volt which would be your default uh, base clock set. What you should do is. Just click on that, click on core voltage offset on the dragging tool and just set it, uh, you know, to below minus 0 0.150 volts. Now that is something which uh, at my testing, I felt that was completely smooth and uh, for my i5 8300H, it was completely stable. So I was able to maintain that, uh, you know, relative advantage. But for you guys, I would suggest start from the very bottom. You can start from 0, 0 0.050, then, you know, make it make its way up to minus uh, 0 0.150 uh, volts the you know and yes every time you do that I would suggest click on stress test upon clicking on stress test you can do a complete stress test of your uh, system in this you would be able to actually identify whether there is any issues or there are any uh, problems that comes up there might even be a blue screen that comes up because you know a certain minimum voltage is required uh, to run your CPU so uh, you know do it at your own discretion completely so going forward now Alright guys, so let's look at the GPU undervolting. I have a graphic card uh, that is GTX 1054 gigabytes. So let's just open up MSI Afterburner over here. Upon doing so, this is the default in which it comes. So the default core clock, memory clock, all at zero. So you just click over here. You would get your voltage frequency curve editor. By default, this is how it looks. So at, uh, let's say 1700, which is our default set. Mm, second, 1700 would be around here. It's using around 1000 wattage, megavolts, I mean, it's using 1000 megavolts. Uh, let us see what I did. So it takes a bit of time to get it done because you have to, you know, keep on adjusting these uh, individual nodes over here like this. So all these nodes needs to be adjusted individually. So, you know, it again, it takes a lot of time. 
So luckily I've already done all of that for us. And once I click over here, you can see there's a curve over here. I have already implemented this. So let's just check out how the curve is. So this is how particularly my curve looks. Not very flattering, I know. Uh, this is the default curve that you can see that was there. And this is the curve that I have adjusted it to. Now over here at uh, 1700, let's see what, uh, what is it? Okay, somewhere between 925 and 9, so around 935. And let's uh, take it about that. So around 935 to 940, so around 75 to 80 uh, megavolts, uh, uh, you know, uh, less at that same frequency. So this, uh, this inevitably is actually uh, quite on the lesser side. People have done, people have done uh, far more uh, undervolted it far more than this. In fact, uh, as much as I would say 175, people have even done that. So I haven't gone that extreme and I've just done it at this much. And whatever, uh, you know, performance you saw over there were with the same charge that I've shown for my processor and for the GPU. Uh, so yeah, that is about it actually, uh, you know, I, I would suggest that you take all of this with a grain of salt and uh, do your own testing. Uh, every time with this so for that you can click on OC scanner once you have done this just click on test It would start testing if it shows That uh, you know, th there is a test confidence of 90% plus it's showing 0% because I just stopped it right now But upon completion of test at around after five minutes if it's showing that your test confidence level is above 90% Then you're good to go. I mean, you know, even at default values you get 90% and after undervolting I was getting 90% So if it's above 90% you're good to go I don't exactly know how much that is uh, valuable, but you know to a certain degree it, it, it really tests your uh, Limits of your GPU at really high cores uh, for five minutes. So which is good So let's just move into the next bit now All right guys, so to download MSI afterburner. It's very easy Go to the link that I have mentioned in the description down below. Go to this web page, go to the lowest and then click on download. Upon clicking on download, just follow the on-screen instructions and you should be done. Same with the Intel Extreme Tuning Utility. Click on the description down below. You should directly be routed to this page. Upon going to this page, follow the on-screen instructions and again, you should be able to download this. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, you know what to do. Like, subscribe to the channel and thank you so much for watching.